I'm Monica, a technical account manager here at the AWS office in Boston. Today, I will show you how your Amazon Elastic Block Store snapshot bill is calculated. Let's get started. Charges for the Amazon EBS snapshot are calculated by the gigabyte month. That is, you are billed for how large the snapshot is and how long you keep the snapshot. Pricing varies depending on the storage tier. By default, if you create a snapshot, it is a store in the EBS snapshot standard tier and is incremental. This means that only the blocks on the volume that have changed after your most recent snapshot are saved. For the standard tier, you are billed only for the changed blocks that are stored. When you archive a snapshot, the incremental snapshot is converted to the full snapshot and is moved from the standard tier to the EBS snapshot archive tier. Full snapshot includes all the blocks that were written to the volume at the time when the snapshot was created. For the archive tier, you are billed for all the snapshot blocks that are stored. You are also billed for the retrieving snapshot from the archive tier. Let me show you how you can view the charges for your EBS snapshot on AWS Billing Dashboard. I'm logging into the AWS Management Console. I'm using the North Virginia region for the demo. Enter billing in search bar. Select billing from the service list. The AWS Billing Dashboard opens. In the navigation pane, Choose Bills. In the Details section, expand the Elastic Compute Cloud and Region. Scroll down to the EBS and look for the snapshot data stored. On the screen, you can see that archived year data store cost in North Virginia are $0.0125 per GB month and standard tier snapshot data storage costs are $0.05 per GB month. In second column, you can see the size of the data storage. And in the last column, you can see the calculated bill. You may also use Cost Explorer and Cost Allocation tags to track and manage your snapshot costs. Let me show you how you can filter EBS snapshot usage and cost using Cost Explorer and Cost Allocation tags. After logging into the AWS Management Console, enter the Cost Explorer in the search bar and select the AWS Cost Explorer from the service list. In the navigation pane, choose Cost Explorer. Adjust the date range and granularity as needed in the report parameter. I'm going to use one month. And for granularity, I'm using the daily option. To group by usage type, select usage type and apply. Scroll down to the filter and search for the EC2 in the service filter. Select EC2 other and apply the filter as included. If you are looking for cost and usage in specific linked account and region, add them in the filter. I'm going to skip those filter here. For usage type, search EBS snapshot. Select the EBS snapshot archive storage and EBS snapshot usage and apply the filter as included. This will show you the EBS snapshot usage by the tier type and the cost associated with it. To track the usage and cost using the cost allocation tag, add the tag and value in the filter. I have a resource tagged with the EBS tag. I'm selecting the EBS tag in a filter and value associated with it. This is how you can track the cost and usage from the billing console and cost explorer. For the detailed pricing information, see Knowledge Center article associated with the video at the link in the video description. Note, you are not billed for the snapshot that another AWS account owns and share with your account.
You are billed only when you copy the shared snapshot to your account. You are also billed for the EBS volume that you create from the shared snapshot. The EBS standard tier snapshot is an incremental snapshot. If snapshot snapshot A is referenced by the another snapshot snapshot B, then deleting the snapshot B might not reduce the storage cost. When you delete a snapshot, only the data that is unique to that snapshot is removed. Data that is referenced by other snapshot remains and you are billed for this reference data. To delete an incremental snapshot, See incremental snapshot deletion link in the Knowledge Center article. So now you know how your Amazon EBS snapshot bill is calculated. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.